Back in November of 2020, I put together a little channel update video looking for some ideas on things that you guys like to see me try with the Black Powder Farms. Now I'm going to fulfill one of those requests today. And this one is uh, by Luke Seprish. If I pronounce that wrong, Luke, I apologize. It says, My best friend and I have been shooting Black Powder for two years. We've always watched your videos and would like for you to do one in the Zoo Bottoms dedicated to Luke and Wes. Make something goofy out of steel and shoot it and we'll get a big kick out of that and your reaction once you hit it. Thanks for making these videos. Definitely gives people some enjoyment even during these hard times. Well, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to put together something goofy with steel. Go down to the Zoo Bottoms and get it put together and have some shooting fun with it. And hope I can hit this target. So this one is going to be dedicated to Luke and Wes. Fellas, enjoy the fun. I'm out of here. I'm going to put it together and go for it. started when remind everybody ear and eye protection is strongly recommended <laughs> Look at him go, here he goes. <laughs> How cool is that? Catching old turkey down here off guard. <laughs> Let's get back to the shooting. Before we move any further along, John Boy 454 asked what type of guns do I have? Well, I have five factory guns altogether. Four of them are with me today. The old classic Pedersole flintlock rifle is currently with a Facebook friend, Barry, up in Indianapolis. He is going to cone the barrel on it soon, so I'll probably have that one back by the June shoot of uh, the NMLRA. Woodsman Hawking Tradition Gun, 30 grains of 3F Swiss, using that one. The Lyman's, 30 grains of Swiss, are using that one. I also use 30 grains in this Lyman's Great Plains rifle. And they usually put 90 grain to 2F shoots in, in that smooth bore. And I also use that Mr. Flintlock lube there to lube all those patches. All the 50 caliber equipment goes in that pouch there. 
and all of the 62 caliber, including shot, uh, buck and ball loads, .600 round balls, and all the other stuff that you need, shot cards and whatever goes in that one. And I keep three different types of horns here with Swiss and shoots in them. Am I ready? Wind's blowing in my face. Some of you probably wonder, why is a zoo critter down in front of that stand? Simple. Let's protect that battery. I got a boat battery sitting behind there and I don't want to shoot a hole in it because that's just what I would do. I got to have that to go water skiing next month. Let's get the thing rolling and do it. Great Plains pistol, can you do it? Yes, I got one. <laughs> Traditions, what about it? Ah, choke! Lyman's, what can you say about it? Yes, I got another one! How about the ace up in the sleeve? <laughs> Something was popping my balloons down there. I gotta go figure out what that is. I gotta reload that and try that again. That was just too much fun. <laughs> Well, that thing's really spinning good now without those balloons on there. I've had a lot of requests to make these videos a little bit longer than the five to six minutes I've been doing it for several years. So I'm going to shoot some more and make this a longer. Got to get some more balloons on there and make it happen. I'll be right back. Yes. Got my finger on that thing in there too. When it's got started, got it pinched in that starter. Ah, oh, the hazard of shooting black powder. But I still love it. Ah, oh, man, it fell over. Scared of my shooting. That's what's wrong with it. <laughs> That's running fast enough. Traditions. What about it? Ah, I think I missed. How about it, Lyman's pistol? I think I missed him a bit too. How about your GPR? Can you do it? <laughs> I can't make any of them. How about nine of those little 310 balls? What can you do with it, buddy? Yeah! Let's go shut that battery down and reload these and see if I get the rest of those down there on the next round. Five balloons left. Can we run down and get that uh, starter going and get all five of them with the guns I have loaded left? Four guns? It's a challenge I want to take on. Yeah. What about the traditions? Ah, they're all five still there. Ugh. How about a Mr. Pistol? Woohoo, took three of them out somehow. <laughs> How about a GPR? <laughs> oh, choke! Mr. Smooth, Mr. Smoothbore, what can you do? <laughs> oh, I can't believe I choked that one. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to put them on opposite ends of each other and reload them and shoot it one more time before we get out of here. Let me get that thing spinning and see if we can knock him last two out. Yes. How about the traditions? Can you do it? <laughs> I'm not a cowboy pistol shooter. I only got one shotter. Can we do it with it? <laughs> no go. Can the GPR fill the bill? Choke. All right, smooth bore. Mop it up. Got one of them. <laughs> oh. You gotta love this redneck shooting in Eastern Kentucky. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll catch you next time.
Better go shut it off. Uh, won't have a boat battery to use. <laughs> yeah.